Recently, many of you have been asking how to apply the lower third downloaded from the internet in your own videos. Well, in today's video, we'll show you how to make the most out of the lower third downloaded in your video creation with VideoProvlogger. So if you're interested in this one, keep watching. The lower third can be used in many scenarios. For example, when introducing people, showing product, or in a contest. The lower third will not only make the video more vivid, but also show more details and information to your viewers. You can find and download different animated lower third from the resource website. And if the effect you downloaded is in MOV format, then you can directly import it into VideoProvlogger. Drag it into the overlay track and use it. But if it is in other formats like MP4, you may need to remove the background first before using it. We need to use Chroma Key to get that off. Open VideoProvlogger. Take the green background as an example. Import a lower third effect downloaded. Drag it into the overlay track. In the inspect on the right side, find a chroma key. Click the small box next to the color, which will bring up a color extraction panel. And then, suck the color of the background in the video. Click on Done. Check the enabled box. Adjust the tolerance and the smoothness at the bottom to make the background clear. Do the same for the blue background. Next, just add a prepared video in the video track and you are done. Next, let's continue adding text. First, Drag the playhead to find a point where the lower third appears. Then, click the text on the toolbar to add a text. Enter the text content in Inspector on the right. Choose a proper font. Next, adjust the size and the position of the text in the preview window. But the text looks pretty stiff when it appears. We need to do something to give more moving animation to the text. Drag the playhead and find the position where the lower third appears. Then, in the timeline, drag the beginning of the text bar to here. Find the animation in Inspector. Since the lower third here enters from right to left, we add a wipe right effect to the text in the moving in. Then, adjust the duration on the right side. Note that here you need to adjust the time repeatedly to achieve the best mix between the subtitle text and the lower third. Of course, other than using wipe right, you can also add a different effects based on the lower third you use, such as fade in and squeeze. And you can also incorporate different effects in the end based on the lower third with the text animation to create a closing effect. If the lower third you use doesn't have an out of frame effect, you can create one yourself. First, drag the playhead to find a complete entrance clip of the lower third video. Use a split tool to cut out this clip. Then, copy and paste it at the end. Then, find a reverse play inspector and check the box. This will give the lower third an out of frame effect. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about other adding tricks or what has been going on with VideoProvlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet.
and we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.